Welcome to Krendar's Adventures and Alice Madness Returns. Now, if you're not familiar with this game, it's the follow-up to a much older game. Like, this game was 2011, but it's a follow-up to an even older game called American McGee's Alice. Which, uh, I, I'm not sure how prolific he really is these days, but he's a game developer with some rather creative ideas, typically such as these. Um, I'll give you a quick idea for the background since we're starting with the sequel here. But, um, American McGee's Alice it was a, tw a dark twist on Alice in Wonderland where, uh, I don't know how old she was at the time, I think she was around 10 or so, something like that, in the first game. Um, she wakes up in the middle of the night with her family's house on fire because of an accident. Like, family cat had knocked over uh, an oil lamp. Whole, whole uh, house went down, and Alice was the only one who was able to wake up in time to save herself. Very traumatic experience, as you can imagine. Uh, her family dead around her, and she ends up in an insane asylum. In Victorian England, of course. So... And it was her toy rabbit, like her plush rabbit, that spoke to her and woke her up. Otherwise, you know, the March Hare. So, you end up going through a dark, twisted version of Wonderland where everything is horrible and evil. Even more so than the regular Wonderland. And now, here we are a few years later. As you can see by the image on screen, she's grown up somewhat. I don't know her exact age, but she's somewhere in the mid to upper teens. And the madness is going to return, as you might imagine. Let's go. Now that we know what we're getting ourselves into. Vertical lick. Hell no. No. I don't know why people like that. I hate that. I want my camera to go in the direction I pressed it. This is not a flight sim. I've played this game before, originally on the PS3, but when I saw it on sale on Steam, I had to grab this copy of it so I could record a playthrough. Love this game. It's dark, it's twisted, it's creative and artistic and beautiful, and... I love it. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. Me sick. Now, focus. Wait, you're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Yeah. I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. I can't. I'm trapped. So that's why I explained this to you before starting, so you know what all this was Discard about. Discard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Rob! No! Not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new Wonderland emerge. Get it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. I mentioned this was dark and twisted. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My make me vomit. What can I... 
Remember other things. I want to forget who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories. I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Okay. All right. Camera sensitivity seems fairly reasonable. A lot of games I have to change that, but not this one. Ollie pinched me smalls. Wear bloomers. <laughs> I would very much recommend uh, playing this with a gamepad if you've got one. If you're planning on trying it out yourself. Worse than your room? It's like a monkey. Look at him up there. And he's got pictures of stabbing animals or something like that. What's wrong there? Can't find the door. Seems Alice seems a little malnourished around here. Doll's got a leg off. That thing's creepy. Doctor, do you right? Still sick in the head? I'm oh, what's going on with your teeth? Terminal condition. Wasting doctor's time. I deserve my tears. Want some? Wow, she is hard on herself. Now, one thing I like in this game as well is your outfit will keep changing for every level to sort of reflect uh, the themes. Ten years in the loony bin. No, ma, no relation. She's an orphan. Everybody's talking about me. They're so mean. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. This earn your keep thing is, seems rather, well, dark in a way. I don't want to have to keep hammering that word, but. Doctor's pet. Mad as a hatter without the charm. Killed her family. Who'd want her? Man, these people are not nice. Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Why do you have a number on you? Hmm? Hand stitch home for wayward youth. Dr. Angus Bumby, proprietor. Hold on a second. Oh. Got those in backwards again, apparently. Okay. The L and the R are bumped off on these things. I can't tell which one's which until I start using them. Nice, I think you could build a flat on it. Build a flat on it. Eh, in it, governor. Scrawny little kitty cat. Man, I wouldn't ch trust meats from this place. Must be halfway rotten already. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Ah, that's an emaci as emaciated as Alice. Are you my Cheshire kitty cat? 
Now, where has that cat gone? Like a real dog, no changing Meow. Seems You're following kidding. furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Hi there. Who are you? The stars and garters. Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. <sighs> what luck. Twice in as many months. Freaking honker on, on this one. You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Must suck to have her last name be Witless. Been look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Sounds Still like a Scottish it. accent no on that surprise. one. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bumby's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. I know it's worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, all died on my account, I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Cheap. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she kinda remember her name? What I heard. Even sweet old Nurse Witless is taking advantage of her. Justifying it to herself. God, look at all that smoke. Ugh. Is not kind to the environment. Look at that. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I already saw that. Nurse Witness, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. Your mouth needs washing. Oh, here we go. Like how there's blood stains on her apron when she hasn't even done anything yet. That's a dark sign. Of course, the, it was like that's the exact outfit she had on for the whole first game. I'm not sure if the boots were the same, but the uh, the dress was. The dress and the apron and the the Very symbols and the journey, necklace. But I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. 
Empress Witless. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. <sighs> Pardon me. See if I can disable the controller vibration. No. Oh well, hopefully it won't happen very often. I don't like it. Okay. I jumped so well. Oh, look, it's me. jump. That's right, with a sort of third jump that's more like a float. The fourth one that does barely anything. Don't be sad, me. Guess I probably can't get back there, eh? Just gonna where to really go. If you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my Actually. girl. I thought I was going to a side area, but I think we're going to the main area. Which makes me want to go back now. <laughs> and explore a little bit more, but oh well. Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. bottle or uh, perfume or something. Ah, oh, yes, the po the drink be potion. Classic. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages. Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My God, I'm shrinking in this potion. Shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it. Right. Forests for the trees. Just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. So, for some reason, when we shrink, we can see invisible things. Drink sense. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but it is what it is. Look how small she's become, all curled up. She's barely there. A vixen in her hidey hole.
you do little hiccups like you're drunk or something. It's kind of amusing. Um... Yeah, that was that area. Oh. Is there anything down here I can I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to do this. Hi there, buddy. Forget what the teeth are for. I assume the game will tell us. I haven't played this game since it was new, so it's been like four years. soon, Alice. Guess that was my sister. Nope. This didn't give me a sore butt, I'll tell you that. Blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I like the patterns on it. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Well, you don't have to sound so happy about it. Go snicker snack. It leaves them dead. As seen in a previous poem. So, so I think this is supposed to be the Jabberwock. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice, but flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. Teeth too. I do. I'm sure when they remind me why I care about teeth, I'll be glad I have them. Go sneaker snack. You, buddy. Huh, can't 
jump while I'm focused like this. A bleak, gross, and evil in a single monstrosity. It's like I'm a magic ninja. I really like that visual effect. It looks really cool. If we're gonna give a dodge to somebody in a fantastic realm like this, might as well fancy it up, right? Make it creative. A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. That's a little creepy. They're giving all the controls for keyboard even though I'm using Game, uh, game pad. But still. I know what they mean. up with those. There's 18 of them though apparently in chapter one. Something happens if I collect all eight bottles. I don't remember. I guess we'll find out. More teeths. Oh, look what is going on with your face, lady. Ah, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners. And I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, that be don't cannibalism? you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice. And you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pig parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Okay, let's investigate this new ability in episode two.